I believe that if you've spent your life doing evil, engaging in cruelty, then you, uh, you will pay the price for it. No matter one's beliefs, humankind faces one inescapable truth. We all will die. But after our loved ones have said their final goodbyes and our earthly bodies are retired, none of us knows our ultimate fate. None of us knows what's on the other side. Robert Frost Poet says, the strong are saying nothing until they see. We don't know. Everyone would like a simple answer about hell or the devil or goodness or badness. There is no simple answer to a great deal of life. Most of it happens in shades of gray. But uncertainty does not preclude our constant speculation about hell and Satan. Hell is the ultimate affirmation of free will. And if, if there was no hell, then, then God would ultimately be saying, I don't care what you want, I don't care if you hate me, you're going to be with me forever, so deal with it. But the idea of hell seems to make sense for the souls who say, look God, I'm sure heaven's really nice, but I don't want any part of it, and I don't want any part of you. Satan could run for office and be elected, which is really troubling. He's very charismatic. He's a natural leader. The problem is, is that he always leads in the wrong direction. For centuries, the history of Satan and hell seems to be rewritten every generation. Hell is a shared construction project. It's based on stories that have been told by some of the greatest storytellers in the world. Satan is here to stay. The idea of God, man, and the devil will be around for as long as people have longings that they can't realize and things that they fear. A lot of Americans are willing to say that hell is a simple delusion. If you look at the history of hell, you find out it might be a delusion, but there's nothing simple about it. It has an immense, long, important, and very telling history.